Josh here, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of talk about the gear ratios, gearbox setup, RPMs, and whatnot on the V8 jet ski. Still waiting for everything to dry out before I start it back up again, but I will be doing that relatively soon. First of all, gear ratios. So, on the engine is spinning a, let's see, this is a 41 tooth, I believe. Is it 41 tooth or is it 28? All right, the engine side is a 28, and then on the output side is 17. So it's 28 17 gear ratio. We are overdriving. So, what is how does that make sense? 17 to 28. Yes, 17 and 28, huh? That sounds like a gear ratio of like one to six or something <clears throat> i have to look this stuff up because i don't know 1.6 overdrive when jacob's been welding in the background i found my gear calculator online and i just typed in some of the information and it gives us what we need so the gear ratio is 1.6 to 1 or yeah i guess that's the easiest way to say it 1.6 to 1 and the, what happens is the input at 5,000 RPM has the output at 8,235 RPM. And I also just did a quick torque calculation. Uh, this is just an estimate on torque. So we're saying the input of torque is about 400 foot pounds, which is probably less than that, but the output on torque will be 242 foot pounds. So we are losing some torque by what we're doing with the gearing. So we're trying to get more RPM out of the pump by doing this. The reason that I calculated in 5,000 RPM is because that's about the RPM we were hitting on our speed runs on the last day before this thing actually sank. It was about 5,000 to 5,300 RPM, which means that we were spinning the pump around 8,000 RPM at the pump. So it makes sense the speeds that we're hitting from our pump speed and all that stuff. Also means that our engine needs more horsepower or we need a different impeller on there. We'll probably end up doing a bit of both to make this thing work a little bit more better and go faster. That's exactly what I would do. Yeah, I would, I, no, I would, yeah, okay. You, what, okay, Josh, I think what you're going to do sounds great. I, I believe in it. Yep. Right on, man. Right on. Oh, man. Classic Jacob. All right. For some reason, I thought this nerdy video was going to take a lot longer than that, and it really did not take very long at all to explain the gear ratios and all that crap. 1.6 to 1. That's all you need to know. Engine goes 5,500 RPM right now. And, um... Well, yeah. I haven't checked the latest data from when it actually grenaded the... The like gearbox driveline stuff. Well, it didn't the gearbox didn't get broken. The driveline got broken. I didn't check the data from that yet because I haven't turned the ECU on to get that data. I just have the data from the runs before that. And we were hitting 5,000 to 5,300 RPMs, which is good because we means we have room to grow and still go faster. That is sick. Because the red line, I had it set at 6,900 RPM. I thought about doing 7,000, but 69 seemed better. Yeah, 69 is <laughs> a good number to go with. Now for engine tuning, I'll talk about that just slightly. But the, what I was doing was making some adjustments so that the air-fuel ratio would come out a little bit nicer. The issue I was running into is it runs pretty much rich all the time because of how the cooling system is set up. It keeps the engine quite cool. And since I didn't have data before, I didn't know what the temperature was, so I didn't know how to adjust to compensate for it and all that stuff. <clears throat> we do want to get it running in the correct heat range, but on that particular day, I was just making some adjustments for it to ignore the coolant temperature to get it closer to an air-fuel ratio that is a little bit better for going faster. Well, if you would have had a gauge cluster on there, that would just tell you, like we told you. Oh. Thank you for reminding me, Jacob. Oh, Idiots. This guy's building a V8 desk over here. The guy's an idiot. 
So the day I went out there and sank it, I had gotten this from Holly. A freaking sweet gauge cluster that we're gonna put in this. But it was the day I went out there, so I didn't have time to install it, which I'm kind of glad it didn't because probably would have wrecked it. Comment below. If that went underwater, would it have ruined it? Yeah. Do you guys know if this is waterproof or do I need to make a waterproof box for it? I'm assuming I need to make a waterproof box for it. Go with Tupperware. So anyways, Holly sent on this over some more cool stuff. Thanks, it, Holly! Yeah, it's pretty cool. This particular... These gauges were back ordered, so that's what I, I asked for them quite a while ago. But they just sent them over once they were uh, available again. That time. Stupid microchip shortage. Don't they know we got guys trying to build V8 jet skis and stuff? Yeah, who cares about cell phones and TVs? We got to build V8 jet skis. Yeah, yeah, really. And yeah. Also, also, who cares about cars that you can't get anymore? I haven't been in a huge rush to fire it up because I do want the electronics to really dry themselves out. Although they all of the plugs have the seals on them. So theoretically, the plugs won't be wet inside. But I'm just giving everything in plenty of time to dry out. So I've noticed if you fire up electronics when they're wet, that's when they get fried. Thank you guys so much for all the support in the last few videos. I really appreciate it. Tons of orders for the merch coming in, and I really appreciate that as well. I do want to set up a account for I take donations. It feels kind of weird to do that, but some people have requested it, and I'm not going to say no to free money to help rebuild this thing. And heck, if we get enough free money, I shouldn't call it free money. If we get enough donations, then it would have enough to get that super sweet aluminum. What yeah. what are we going to do, an LS6, LS7? Well, I guess we got to do an LS6 because we're going to put a turbo on there. That's the one out of the ZR1, right? I don't even know. We're probably going to make our own or buy it from an engine guy. or I don't know, but nothing's free. Your money that is gifted to this project, not free because you worked for it. Yeah. So we will be using it for this. I'm and we'll gonna... use it wisely. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to like go out and buy some like stupid thing that I don't need. Oh, I'll, I'll go get a Rolex. Yeah. Yeah, that would be sad. That would be a waste of your donations. Yeah, it would be. So if I have that set up, I'll definitely have it linked on the screen right here. Glad you guys came to hang out with us today. And that will do it for this one. So I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed evening. Ooh.